and basically take care of the bookkeeping needs for multiple uh, companies with that version of the software and not even have to update it and whatnot. Now, obviously on the Intuit side of things, you can imagine they wouldn't like that because if, if they're trying to support multiple versions of the software, that's gonna be more difficult on their side. So what they did is they moved even the desktop version to a subscription model so that you kind of have to update it each year. Now, you might still be able to buy QuickBooks desktop somewhere before the date that they that they switched to the subscription model, in which case, you know, you can it'd be good to practice with that kind of software if nothing else because because it's still good so I mean it still does all the basic kind of things and you can practice with it but going forward it looks like everyone's going to be on the subscription thing now you would think on on the other hand on the other side of things you would think that after changing to the subscription model into it it would be easier for into it to keep the desktop version because now they don't have to deal with supporting all the prior versions they can just update everyone the same way they do online so will that impact them as to whether they're going to try to remove the desktop version, not for the enterprise, they're probably going to keep that, but just for like the pro, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, so multiple company files for one purchase on the desktop versus only one company file per purchase for the online. Now, obviously, in certain areas, being able to have multiple company files with one purchase of the desktop, even if you have to pay annually in a subscription model, is beneficial because for example if you're the type of bookkeeper that has multiple companies that they do bookkeeping for with one accounting software then that's great right that you're gonna you're gonna be able to do multiple company files and only pay the one for the one software because you because it's kind of like using microsoft word for example you can make multiple word documents and with one file the word documents being equivalent in this analogy to the company files Whereas with the online version, you have to purchase a new online company file, new online company per new company, which so you could see what the advantages would be. Now for the for for Intuit, of course, you can see why they would want to have and force everybody to purchase a new company file if you're going to be starting up a new company. So I would think that would be possibly one of the tension areas where you have a lot of bookkeepers which are saying, hey, look, I have a business model that works with what I'm doing right now with the one company file and an online saying, you know, we want to we want to have everybody who starts a new company file to pay for a different subscription. Also, the fact that you can have multiple company files is great for practicing and testing things. So it's great for us from a student standpoint. So if you're just using this to practice with having multiple company files that you can open is really useful because then you can open a company file, you can practice a certain thing, and then you can open a different company file and practice something different. And even if this was your own file, for example, for your company, if you wanted to test something out like the bank feeds, for example, or test something out like a software integration, it would be great to have a sandbox to do that with before doing it to your actual company file. If you back up your company file, make a separate company file and then test these things out, it, it's a great tool. Whereas that's more difficult to do with the online version. With the online version, I can't really just make a separate company file as easily and play with it. There are alternatives. They have the QuickBooks test drive and stuff, but they don't have as much functionality and you don't have as much customization than if you were to make your own company file. So static backup files versus data stored on secure server. Now there's two main things that come with this backup files. When we have backup files, traditionally we think of those as we need them so that we don't lose our data. That's one use of them. But another use of them is that we can use the backup files to restore our data to a prior point in time. And we can use the backup files to set up separate company files so that we can practice with having a sandbox to kind of practice with. So first, if we think of it as just uh, having secure data, the argument from Intuit is the online version is actually better, they say, 
because your data is stored on the Intuit servers and the Intuit servers are, have, are being triple backed up and everything. So the servers should actually be more secure than your computer and therefore the online version is more secure than the desktop version. Now that may be true, but I still think the desktop version can be pretty secure if you properly do your backups. Uh, very secure, you know, if you properly do your backups because what you want to do on your backup files is back them up to a separate uh, drive or online. In other words, you could set up your backups to basically do automatic backups and back them up to say an online cloud or at least a separate external drive so they're not on your hard drive. And you have a pretty, you have a very secure, I would think, backup system. Now, the other thing that's a benefit with the static backups on the other hand is that I can make multiple backups. So if I'm backing up every night, now I have a nightly backup, which allows me, if there's a problem, to restore to any point that I want. Now, the online is trying to implement some of this ability to restore to a prior point. And if you get the advanced online, I think they have the ability to do that, but it's still not as easy 